Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today we're going to show you how to set up the face detection on the Uniview system through the web browser interface and also on the NVR local GUI. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone it's always best practice to make sure that the camera and the NVR that you're using has the latest firmware and supports the feature that you plan on using. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up the face detection first off in the web browser. So you're gonna make sure Internet Explorer is open, and one of the first things that you wanna do is make sure all your ActiveX settings are enabled. That way you can utilize all the full features of the browser. After you type in the IP address of the NVR into the URL here, in this example I put in 192.168.1.240, you're gonna see the login page for the NVR. So for the username, I'm gonna put in admin, Password, I'm gonna put an ENS, lowercase, one, two, three, four, five. Hit login. And then you can see the web browser interface of the recorder. So one of the first things I'm gonna do once I log in is verify I can see the camera. So I'm gonna select D1, make sure it's set to master stream so it has a clear quality picture. And then once uh, you do that, just make sure, since after we enable the ActiveX settings, just disregard this little message at the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is gonna to go to setup. Of course, make sure your date and time is always set up correctly in the NVR recorder. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the client menu here. And of course, you're gonna make sure the intelligent mark is on. The reason why you wanna do that is because it allows you to see the analytics live on the screen. You're gonna click save, okay? After you do that, you're gonna go into the camera menu, okay? And then under the camera menu, you're gonna to go to schedule. And there, there's two types of schedules here that I wanna note. One is the recording schedule, and one is the snapshot schedule. So you wanna make sure both are enabled correctly. Now, since the face detection is an analytic, it's considered an event. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you schedule the recording schedule as an event. So after you select the right camera, of course, make sure the recording schedule is on, and then you go to edit. And then as you can see here, there's a drop down menu of the type of recording schedules. So you're gonna make sure that's set to event and then copy to all and then click OK. Then as you see here, the recording schedule is now a pinkish purplish color, which is what you want. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. You're gonna click on the tab. Again, select the right camera and then make sure the snapshot schedule is on. Go to edit and then again, drop down the menu and make sure select it as event and then again, copy to all the days that you wanna use. Click OK, and then hit Save, okay? After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to set up the analytics as the next part, so you're gonna click on Smart, okay? So under VCA Config, select the correct camera, and then we're looking for face detection here, so make sure that's checked, and make sure it's on the camera side. Once that's enabled, click on this little gear icon here, and then you see the live view of the camera. So now you have the detection area between either a full screen or a specify area. If you click specify area, that means you draw your own detection area. So you have to make sure that the people that you plan on detecting actually walk in that detection area or it won't get picked up. If you do the full screen, that means anyone in the full screen area of the camera view should be able to be picked up. So we're gonna set that up in this example. Here, you're gonna see the face detection sensitivity, the slide bar here. So obviously, the higher the number, the more sensitive it can pick up a face. Once you do that, you're gonna to go to face detection. And again, under the arming schedule, you're gonna make sure, of course, it's scheduled for all the days that you want and the hours that you want, and then click OK. And then, of course, under the trigger actions, one of the main things that you want to be aware of is you want to make sure under the recording is enabled as well too so it will record when it picks up a face. As you can see here, you can see other options that you can trigger like a buzzer or send an email notification or alarm output if you have anything connected. So for this example, we're just going to set up a recording. Under advanced, of course, you have the option of putting however many snapshots that you want to take. And then of course, make sure the face selection is enabled. You're going to click save. Once you do that, Go back to the live view, and then again, select single mode, and then select the camera, and then we're going to have a test subject walk through the detection area, and then we're going to show you how to search for the smart events under the playback menu. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate the face detection in action, and then we're going to do a playback to show you how we can search for it. 
So as you can see here, we have our test subject walking into the detection area. Okay. So once that's done, you're going to go into the playback. And then under the drop down menu, you're going to select smart. Now, one thing that I want to mention is the difference between searching for face in the web GUI and also in the NVR is that you have to do it through the playback in the, the web GUI. On the NVR GUI itself, you can actually search for faces, which we'll show you in the next video. So here, I'm going to select the smart menu, select the camera, select the date. And as you can see here in the timeline here, there's going to be color codes indicating the different type of events. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the timeline and then we're going to look for anything that's a green color code. So we're going to hit playback. Okay. And then now we're going to go and then click on the latest time frame here. And then as you can see our test subject is she's walking through the detection area. So that means that that green area that we selected is showing the face detection recording. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the face detection on the NVR local GUI. Once you log into the recorder, you're going to make sure you can see the camera's live view. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go to the main menu. And then one thing you're going to do first, again, just like in the web browser, you're going to go to system and make sure the intelligent mark is enabled. That way you can see when someone's face is picked up, it'll put a little green box around there. Click apply. Then you're gonna to go to the storage menu. And then again, there's two recording schedules. One is for the snapshot, and then one is for the recording. So for the recording, you wanna make sure it's enabled. Select the correct camera, okay? And then under edit, you're gonna make sure uh, you copy it to all the days. Click, and on the type event, you're gonna select event, okay? And then click okay. And as you can see here, it's going to be all pinkish on all the different days. That's what you want. Once you do that, you're going to click apply. And then you're going to click on snapshot schedule and do the same exact thing. Select the correct camera, enable the schedule, and then under edit, again, under the event, select event, and then copy to all the days, click OK, and then you're going to apply. The next step is to go to the main, men main menus VCA features and then you're going to enable face detection. So under VCA configuration, you're going to select the checkbox here where it says face detection and then you're going to click on the little gearbox here. And again, under the detection area, we have the same options, either full screen or spec specify an area. So in this example, we're going to specify the full screen, okay, and then we're going to select the sensitivity level. So in this example, I set the highest. Under trigger actions, you're going to want to make sure that the recording is enabled for that specific camera. Okay? You can also enable other things as you can see here, but for this example, we're just going to enable the recording when it picks up a face. So in this example, it's going to be D1. Click OK. And then under the arming schedule, again, you're going to select all the days that you want. Click apply. And then you're going to go to advanced. Make sure the enable face selection is checked. And then after that, if you want to do any uh, other options, you have that option as well. Then click Apply, exit the menu, and then we're going to go back to the live view mode. Now, one thing that I want to mention is under the preview mode, you have a different type of uh, selection here. You have either normal or you have what's called smart. You want to enable smart, so that means as soon as the camera starts picking up a person, you're going to see the snapshot on the right-hand side of the screen here. Okay. And in order to do a search, unlike the web GUI, you can actually search by face snapshots by going to the main menu, go to VCA, and under VCA search, you can select where it says face snapshot, and then select the camera channel, and then hit search, and then you'll see a list of the snapshots. So now we're going to wait for someone to walk through the camera view, and then you'll see a snapshot on the right-hand side of the menu. So now we're going to demonstrate the face detection in action. So before you do that, on the live view, you're going to right click on your mouse, select the preview mode as smart. You're going to notice there's an extra column here. That's to display the face snapshots that you take. But before you do that, you're going to click on the gear icon here and make sure the checkbox display face snapshot info is checked. And then click OK.
And as you can see here, we have our subject's face being detected, and then I'm gonna click on that picture, and you can see a playback footage of her walking towards the camera. Another way to search for a face snapshots is by going to the main menu, and then you're gonna go into VCA, and then you're gonna select VCA search, and then where it says face snapshot search, select that, and you can select the camera and the date and time. Once you hit search, you're gonna see a list of face snapshots that it picked up for that particular date. So then you can just go ahead and click on a random picture and then hit play and you'll see that same playback footage. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the face detection feature on the Uniview system through the NVR local GUI and the web browser. Thank you for watching.